In this lesson, you will learn how to tell whether a linear equation is conditional, a contradiction, or an identity. First, we'll break down what each one means, and then we'll see them in action with examples. A conditional equation is true for only one value of the variable. It works just for one number. That means it has exactly one solution. This is the type you are most used to. A contradiction equation is false for all values of the variable. It doesn't work for any number you try. That means it has no solution. An identity equation is true for all values of the variable. It works for every number you try. That means its solution is all real numbers. All right, now let's see each one in action with some examples. Our first step is to solve the equation. Notice we have variables on both sides. So first, we need to collect them on one side of the equation. Let's collect them on the left by subtracting x from both sides. Now on the left, 3x minus x gives us 2x. On the right, the x's cancel out, leaving just 6. Next, isolate the variable term by adding 10 to both sides. These cancel out, leaving 2x. On the right, we get 16. Now divide both sides by 2 to isolate x. The 2's cancel, leaving x. 16 divided by 2 is 8, right? So we found one solution, x equals 8. This means the equation is only true for this one value of x. If you plug in any other number, it won't work. So it has one solution, and that means the equation is conditional. So whenever solving a linear equation gives you a single value like this, that's called a conditional equation. Great, now let's see what kind of equation our second example turns out to be. Since we have parentheses on the left side, our first step is to get rid of them using the distributive property. So we distribute the 4 to both terms inside. 4 times 2x is 8x, and 4 times 1 is 4. Bring down the rest of the equation. Next, collect the variables on one side. Let's collect them on the left by subtracting 8x from both sides. Notice on each side we have 8x minus 8x, which is 0. They cancel out. So the x's completely vanish. And we're just left with 4 equals negative 5. But wait a second. That's false, right? This means no matter what number you plug in for x, the left and right sides will never be equal. No value of x can ever make this equation true. So it has no solution. And that means the equation is a contradiction. So whenever solving a linear equation leaves you with a false statement like this, that's called a contradiction equation. If this video has been helpful so far, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps the channel reach more students. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to help you out. Awesome. Let's move on to our final example and figure out what kind of equation it is. First, get rid of the parentheses on each side using the distributive property. On the left, distribute the 5. 5 times x is 5x and 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. On the right, distribute the 2. 2 times 6x is 12x and 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. Notice we have like terms on each side of the equation. So the next step is to combine them. On the left, 7x plus 5x is 12x. On the right, negative 18 plus 3 is negative 15. Next, collect the variables on one side. Let's collect them on the left by subtracting 12x from both sides. Notice, on each side we have 12x minus 12x, which is 0. They cancel out. And we're just left with negative 15 equals negative 15. That's a true statement, right? This means if you plug in any number for x, both sides will always be equal. The equation is true for every value of x, so its solution is all real numbers. And that means the equation is an identity. So whenever solving a linear equation leaves you with a true statement like this, that's called an identity equation. By the way, if you need step-by-step -step lessons on solving one-step, two-step, or multi-step equations, including ones with fractions and decimals, check the links in the description or in the first comment.